there's a lot of different ways to do it and as well people are really trying to get you to automate faster but it's quite hard to get the budget finding people as well so finding people trained in automation is very difficult uh, we need to start training them ourselves so uh, getting budget to train as well um, that's probably the most difficult issues <laughs> I think it's the adopting these principles, they hear automation, they hear agile, they want you to just do it. Um, I think it is getting that buy-in from them um, and trying to get them to get on board with it and actually give you the time and the resources to actually do it and not just expect it to happen and be this magic automation and agile experience that they imagine. Recruitment is always a challenge because uh, the Leeds market has got incredibly competitive compared to what it used to be. Uh, 10, 15 years ago, it was very much an employer's market then, but now it's definitely, uh, as a tester, as a, someone who can contribute effectively in a, in a testing sense to a team, it really is your market. So I think, and as a test manager, you need to go all out to impress, um, to impress the candidates really, and try and make sure that you get the best and offer them something going forward which will keep them really engaged. I think we still have to fight this impression that testing isn't needed. That testing's a hindrance. As, as archaic a principle as that is, I think some senior managers and some executives still see it on paper as a, 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 just a, a money drain um, and not really having any benefit. But time is the biggest problem. The turnaround now for, for software is increasing in demand. I mean, you've got people like Google releasing code every 11 minutes. You, you're trying to fit something which is inherently cumbersome and slow into smaller and smaller delivery cycles. For me, that's probably the biggest challenge.